Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. I am so glad that you joined us here today for gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. What's a metaphysical ministry? Well, the world that you're observing out there, what you can see, hear, taste, touch, smell, that's only less than 1% of the world that exists. Now, you may have been around people who were maybe seeing angels, they're seeing auras, they were hearing things you weren't hearing, like the ohm, um, the vibration of the earth. It's present all the time. But you have to learn how and allow yourself to move into the multi-dimensional being that all of us are evolving into to experience that other 99% plus of the world. So metaphysics is the philosophy and spiritual aspect that attaches with quantum physics explaining exactly how the world is and how it works. We begin every week with a happy share. Happy share is something that leaves you feeling happy. It's not about something that happened for your spouse or your kids or your parents or your best friend and you feel happy for them, which of course you want to, but what made you in your life feel happy inside, peaceful, calm? Well, my happy share this week is I'm out in my backyard making this. And I glanced over there where my garden is, and I see more okra going. And I thought the okra were done for the season. So I'm real excited because I like okra. I also see that my spaghetti squash, and there are about 10 of them, big spaghetti squash, are finally ripening. So I'm glad that's happening before it gets cold. That makes me happy because I love to garden. I love to eat fresh veggies. Now this week I get to be the minstrel minister. And I know my voice isn't totally here today, Especially today, there's still some not good air from fires burning, not even in our own state. But when you live in a valley, that's what happens. Air comes in. So, whatever comes out is what's supposed to come out. I don't know why I this call them weeds. They look beautiful to me. Just because others don't agree on where they should grow and how they should be. Do you ever feel like you don't belong? Cause you are hearing a different song inside. And they want you to abide by what they say. They don't want you to live any other way than theirs. Following their rules isn't only their tools. They don't want you on your own to choose where and how you are going exactly what seeds you are sowing. You grow your garden according to your own planet. Really doesn't matter whether they understand. Your path is your journey, this is your life, it isn't a turning to find the winner. Bottom line is in the ocean of life, we are each a beginner, moving through strife, going round and round on the carousel. Each of us looking to grab the brass ring. Stand up, live in love and light, and sing your song. Stand up in love and light, and sing your song. Your life is about you. Your journey through life is what allows your soul to grow. I used to think, when I had all these detours on my life, because I knew I wanted to head toward that end, but then something would come and pull me this way, and it might be something that lasted for a couple of years. And then I'd say, okay, great, now I get to live my life. And then something would come and pull me that way, and I thought, gee willikers, my life keeps zigzagging. Will I ever reach over there. You know what I discovered? I discovered that I didn't have any detours in my life. Every single thing that happened in my life was meant to happen so that I could be who I am. 
because in order to reach there, we needed to become someone differently than who I was. You need to be someone you've never been to before, who can make choices you've never done before, to take actions you've never done before, and then, then you can have what you've never had before. Be, do, have on your path. It's your life. No one has any business telling you how to live your life. You have your tools, and you know where they are? They aren't out there. They're in here. Learn to go within. Meditation's really good for that. There's a whole lot of stuff out there that can help you learn how to go within. But the bottom line is, it's a choice you make. It's a choice you make to be in the silence. And then, guess what? You'll hear and see and know things you can't with just your five senses. And that's when your life gets rich. And that's when you can really move on the path you thought you wanted to be on. If it's the right path for you. Your life is your life. Nobody could possibly know your journey, your goal, your destination, and your path to get there. You don't even know it, right? So how can somebody else think they know what's in your highest and best interest? The fact is, it's not possible. And in fact, you can know what's in your, not for somebody else, but what's in your highest and best interest by learning how to communicate both ways with your true self, your higher self, the part of you that's immortal, that is your spirit, that is the all is one. God, the universe, Allah, Buddha, whatever word that you choose that sits in your heart. It's all this energy, the same energy, a higher energy, a higher source. So in your journey through life, when you can communicate with your own spirit, you can make your path easier. Doesn't mean you'll never have upsets because we do our most growing through the strifeful experiences. However, knowing your higher self can get you through those experiences easier. Let's see, if you're living your life, say, just to throw out a number, at a level 10, and you have an experience at a level 6, well, if you're up there in the frequency of 10, you think maybe you're going to get through it faster than if you're living your life down around level 3 and you have a level 6 experience. That's going to be pretty hard to bounce back from that. So I'm going to be teaching a course on how to connect with your higher self because that way you always get 100% accurate information. There's no guessing. There's no trying to figure it out. There's no somebody else trying to figure out your life for you. Come on. Every week, well, maybe not every week. <laughs> if you're on the ministry site right now and you take a look up there, you will see a page called Hold the Space For. Hold the Space For is a vision that we share with somebody to manifest something in their life. So it might be that they want a new home, maybe a different job, maybe they're looking for a new relationship, maybe they want to take some kind of course, they want to learn how to do something, and they don't really even know that course exists. But by their sharing, and you go right down below here in the comments section, let us know what it is you want in your life that isn't there now. You're putting out a thought form for the universe to read, to acknowledge. And the rest of us, by reading what your vision is for you, makes a thought form bigger. So in divine timing, this will only happen for you when it's in your highest interest at that time. And depends on who you are to be able to live and support that image. By making that thought form bigger, it will come sooner, or you'll get the messages sooner on who you need to become so that you can, in fact, live that way in that experience. Now, when you fill it in down below, it will magically appear up there on the page. Come back at least once a week. Tell all your friends. Just go through, read the names and what the vision is. It doesn't matter that you don't know who they are because the universe does. And every time that the name is spoken with the vision, the 
platform gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, people turn on the news and they think these awful things because the thought form is being spread and growing of awful things, of bad things, of things that can cause nightmares and destroy the world. What if we all join together to support one another and hold a space for visions to manifest where people's lives are better? If you haven't already done so, go on over there and get a copy of my ebook, How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Journey. Now this week, go out and really learn to be in tune with who you are. And stop listening to other people who don't know who you are and what's best for you. Follow your heart, because there'll never be a message in your heart that number one isn't good for you, and number two, you cannot fulfill. The universe doesn't give you a desire without also giving you the means to make it real. Enjoy a wonderful week. Blessings.